And it's gotta be Settlement Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers, yeah. As long as there is color, I'll be there As long as there is commentary, I'll be there With the color commentary crew To give you views from a different side Of course, this is Rashad Waters, a.k.a. The Superman here at you. We're here to review yet another movie. And we're very, very excited to talk about this. What's the movie that we're reviewing today? It's what? The the what? The death of Su- the death the death of Superman? Oh, okay. Um, so maybe I'm not Superman anymore. I am the night. I am the darkness. <laughs> Somebody turn the lights off. I'm Batman. Because I can't be dying up in this piece. What's happening, guys? Hope y'all are doing all right. Of course, this is Rashad with Block Band Music and Publishing, where we sell music and instruments to march bands all across the nation. Color Commentary is going to be reviewing. It's so hard to, to do this when you have somebody looking at you, nodding their head, shaking their head no at you the whole time. It's very difficult. <laughs> But anyway, that's Danny. He's hating over there. But anyway, Color Commentary is here to review uh, the movie that just came out, um, I think, last month, Death of Superman, based off of the comic book by the same name, which in the 90s made so much history that it actually made national news, killing off one of the uh, major, actually, probably, well, I would say the number one, the very first real superhero like pretty much every superhero in some way is borrow something from superman so um him killing him off was a major major deal and he stayed dead for a long time like a whole six months or so but anyway uh we were watching this movie that actually reviews that comic book so please join us with the color commentary crew and go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button we've got a couple of people here We've got a Superman fan and we got a Batman fan. So let's bring on our Superman fan first. What's going on there, Chuck Taylor? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm a Superman fan. I mean, I'm a Batman fan, too. I like everybody. I like everybody. But, like, you know, I got my get up over here, you know, represent my boy, even though he'll get his tail beat on this movie. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready to get into this. I enjoyed the film, so I can't wait to review it. Let's go. All right, and let's bring on our Batman fan. Batman, what's going on over there? You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick. And since uh, Chuck didn't tell you, I'll tell you, he's with KFH Party Easy, where they do parties of all kinds. Um, Me, I'm with Fourth Wall Productions. I write Ace Blade, King Supreme, and all other kinds of comics. Uh, (laughs) I I kind of got, I'm still stuck in the quantum realm. And I, 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 I'm stuck off of our. Funny for one week, man. Funny for one week. <laughs> I'm stuck off of our, our last review where we switched bodies, so I had to introduce both of us. But um, anybody who knows me knows that I hate Superman. I've always hated Superman. Um, I hated his movies. Um, he had one good cartoon back in the '90s. I uh, I hate his video games. I hate his comic books. I hate his powers. I just hate Superman. So um, this. <laughs> was actually uh, a refreshing for me because I did rather enjoy it. But it was more mm. about the writing and the emotions that was put into it than the actual character of Superman. This guy right here is my hero. I'm Batman. He's not a superhero. He, he's not. He hates, uh, he hates Superman so much that the very first time he had a chance to write a comic book, he gave him a character with no powers at all. Mm. <laughs> and made him black. Yeah. Let's make him the opposite of Superman in every way. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this, The Death of Superman. Uh, go ahead, uh, Danny, go ahead and, and uh, talk about what you liked about How did this movie win, sir? The movie won in, in, a, in a lot of ways. The movie, um, I think, when it comes to Superman, the, the reason that I hate Superman is because his powers change all the time. Um, his story is so inconsistent. I mean, he's been around forever, so of course they have to keep changing it up, but... That's one of the reasons that people get tired of, of, of certain characters is because you feel like you know the story. I mean, how many times can we see Bruce Wayne's parents die and how many times can we see um, Uncle Ben die? So, yes, it is. You know, uh, Superman was probably has the most iterations of any character. 
So, you know, his power is always changing and there's just no consistency left in his character. I wish they would kill him and let him stay dead. Um, but, you know, they've brought him back so many times that, um, you know, it's it's just gotten out of control. But what they did well with this movie is that they focused it on Clark Kent. Most of the movie was focused on Clark Kent and his connection to the people around him. So you saw his parents, you saw him and Lois and, and, and the struggle um, for him to tell um, Lois that he that he is Superman and uh, how, you know, I, I love the scene where they where they he was um, talking with with Flash and saying, so do, do you tell did you tell Iris? Does Iris know? And Flash is like, of course, you know, I mean, that's my boo. Why wouldn't I tell you know, um, <laughs> that, that, that was really cool to me. I really enjoyed that. I really like that. They, uh, you know, it really made him seem, you know, even as Superman, it made him seem, you know, human. The most Look, he had to, he had to tell us, Iris kept asking why things kept happening so fast in certain rooms of the of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say Iris is, is probably way smarter than Lois. She would have figured it out. Uh, she would have figured it out a lot quicker than than it took. It takes Lois forever to figure it out. So uh, yeah, I, I like that that scene uh, and and how they uh, and how it was like oh. Uh, this is, you know, uh, go, t go take a day off, Superman. You know, we got this. We got this handled. Like, it was just another day at the office. You know, uh, he was like, okay, uh, you guys can handle this. I'm going to go on my date. You know, and then, you know, they was like, oh, paging Superman. We can't handle this. Uh, I thought that was really cool. <laughs> um, and then um, also the villain, like, the, there was no backstory. There was no introduction. There was no news coverage dude just showed up and started wrecking stuff like your boy doomsday showed up and it was just on like donkey kong he he took everybody out my homeboy mm. my my homeboy batman was the only smart one he said look i'm staying as far away from this dude as i possibly can i'm gonna <laughs> throw my little batarangs and i'm gonna stay up here on this building i'm not getting close to him so you know the action. The action was good. The uh, the the characterization characterization of the characters was good. The story was good, and I'm actually looking forward to the sequel. So you know, I, I really did enjoy. I, this is a uh, one of the first Superman uh, films in a long time that I that I've enjoyed. So yeah, I'm down with it. Huh. All right. Well, let us let us let our powers combine and shift uh, shift it over to Chuck Daly real quick. This is a. Uh, uh awesome moment he he liked something guys he he really liked it it's, it's crazy he looked he, he really liked it i mean I, I can see it in his eyes he really <laughs> likes it uh well uh, this is how how it won correctly so i guess we'll go on that one how it won to me um i guess you see by my reaction i wasn't like you know drooling over this one it was okay it was, it was good it was all right but um but how it won let me get into that doomsday to me even though they didn't have a backstory but just him coming on the scene just killing everybody like his first when he when the uh what's the um what's the little underwater people called the atlanteans atlanteans yeah they made the wrong mistake to go see what that was <laughs> they should have some some since some sharks or something else because he straight smash heads like all the different <laughs> Killing moments of uh, Doomsday, like he was killing the policemen, just throwing cars on them. Killed the yes. bear, killed the. <laughs> he didn't care who he killed. He killed everybody. It was I was that that really took me off guard. I was like, oh my gosh, his head just exploded. Like red yes. paint just exploded under that car <laughs> as he smashed that dude. Like that's pretty graphic. I was like, children. Um, I don't. I thought this was a kid movie. Didn't really know the scenes were gonna be this gruesome. But uh, yeah, he was uh, a. <laughs> Yeah, they, they they put in work on that part. So seeing seeing those the fight scenes, um, even with uh Superman, like you look see behind me, yeah, Superman is messed up. His <laughs> whole his whole get up, his suit, like you never see his his clothes really get tore up that much when he fights. But they got tore up really fast in this fight. Mm -hmm. Like he was he had leggings that were ripped off, uh, half his shirts all ripped off, and he's still trying to save people. So. Seeing the fighting in the in the uh, the movie was really fun to watch. Um, seeing seeing uh, Clark 
as uh, I guess paying, like you said, Tori, paying a little more attention to Clark in this movie was was different. I can't say I, I liked everything about it, but it was something that I never really expected in the movie. It was like, I was a little bit like, are they going to go, he going to turn Superman in a little bit, like do something? Like, I'm kind of a little tired of this relationship, you know, checking. But, you know, it, it, it was a different spin that they did in the movie. So I'm sure a lot of people will enjoy that because people like things that are a little different. Um, other than that, uh, I, I think that's about it. I think that's about all I really liked about it was just the fighting and, you know, seeing Dooms, they really kick some tail. But, yeah, I, okay. I think that's about it for me. I, I, I'll get more in my dislikes. Okay, well, let us let our powers activate again here, and I'll take it. I'll take it here. So the first thing I liked about the death of Superman, obviously, was Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, what just happened? You just Come, what just happened? Batman just came, know, but... came for you. <laughs> Somebody exactly. Just came. He's turned them lights yep. off. Like, right. Come here, Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him, though, right? I am Batman. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if my phone would just... I see. Uh, did he attack yeah. you as well? He knocked the camera down? Oh, there you go. You're back. Yeah, Batman came for me real quick. Batman, I'm about to say something good. Dang it. <laughs> Chill. Hang out with Damien. Gosh. <laughs> but yeah, anytime you want to see a good Batman... Go to the cartoons. It's like every time. It's like the cartoons, they get Batman right. Like my first thing, when he was glaring at Flash, that was hilarious. It's like he just stood at him and just stared at him. And then, it, it, I mean, he's the fastest man in the world. He can do anything he wants to do. And he's intimidated by this guy with no powers at all. He just glared at him. He's like, is he still glaring at me? And he looked back and dude was still glaring at him. <laughs> like that's the power of Batman. You know, like, that's how he's supposed to be. You know, not trying to crack a joke to accommodate people. Um, and even when he, um, at the end, after Superman died, when you see his fist, he's standing there, and you see his fist, and it's just, his fist just goes limp like that. Like, you could, just by that one little scene, you could see the emotion in Batman. And then again, with him not attending the funeral, and just staring out the window. Uh, oh, spoilers, guys, uh, Superman dies. Spoilers. Oh yes, really? No. No. Called the death of Superman. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, him not being at the funeral and uh, staring out the window like that just seems very Batman, and I, I really liked everything about it. Uh, I thought the whole movie was a good fight between, particularly with uh, Superman and Doomsday. Uh, it wasn't like uh, pro wrestling. Like normally with pro wrestling, you'll see boom, boom, boom. Like one guy will get smacked down. Oh, 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 oh. And then all of a sudden he'll come back, you know, after like five minutes of getting beat down, then he'll come back. Like there was a lot of counters. It's like bam, 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 bam. Oh, oh. It's like they were constantly countering each other. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and the way the fight ended made a lot of sense with Superman breaking Doomsday neck like that, like him powering up. Because I was like, how is he going to beat this guy? But it made sense that he gave, he put everything he had, his whole body, into one shot to Doomsday's neck, and it cracked his neck. Like, okay, that, that makes sense. Um, and the oh, one, as far as fighting was concerned, I guess. He did. Uh, I did. I'm not, I haven't watched it. You know what I mean? I don't have, like, a whole year to watch one season. <laughs> Excuse me, one fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, you watch Dragon Ball Kai. You gotta watch Dragon Ball Kai. It's a little shorter. It's a little short. About a couple months. A couple months there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman was doing all right. She was doing good until she got destroyed. And you know, you just knew that as soon as uh, Doomsday had her down, he was just gonna, you know, somebody's gonna take him out real quick. Now, mm -mm. no, she got. Destroyed pretty bad, <laughs> and I'm glad that there wasn't a, a Rodimus Prime incident in this in this movie. Well, Rodimus Prime, what I mean is like if you ever seen Transformers the movie, it's a big fight between Optimus Prime and Megatron, and all of a sudden, um, Hot Rod jumps in. He's trying to help, but basically he ends up getting uh, Optimus Prime killed. And the same type of thing, I'm glad that didn't happen in this movie because like the little boy was like coming in and. Um, 
you know, trying to get his stupid little game. I mean, that's that boy is real stupid, yo. And Superman came and saved him. And I'm glad that Doomsday didn't come and hit him in the back or something like that. Like, I'm glad they were able to rectify that situation without that happening. Um, and the last thing I'm going to use for my last minute here is um, the Easter eggs. Like, for example, the first thing was uh, Superman saying, you've got me, but who's got you? That's actually the very first thing that Lois Lane said to Superman in the first uh, Superman movie that came out like in the 70s and the 80s. That was really cool. Um, how Batman escapes Doomsday is just like what you see in Batman v uh, Superman. Doomsday slamming Superman was just like Hulk and Loki in the Avengers for a second. Um, some of the views of Superman's perspective of him flying and punching and flying and punching, that was straight out of like Man of Steel. Um, by the way, I just want to mention the fact that the black version of Cat Grant was super fine. Super fine. She's a cartoon character. Let me calm down. And uh, how Superman Cat died. Cat Grant. Okay. Yeah, that's Cat Grant. And how Superman died, you know, with him being impaled was straight out of Batman v Superman. So they definitely used and borrowed a lot of things from, from other uh, media. Okay. So that's what I thought. That's the things that I liked and how this movie won. You got something? The, flag. the Superman Kate in the flag straight from the comics oh really okay yeah nice nice okay so let's get into how this movie failed so go ahead sir danny oh how it failed okay it's me so the, for <laughs> me um having cyborg all right so the voice acting like they had some some all-stars when it came to the voice acting they had your boy shamar moore as cyborg mm -hmm. um i could only hear uh, Special Agent Derek Morgan. I watch a lot of Criminal Minds. That's my show. And I could only mm -hmm. hear Special Agent Derek Morgan as when every time Cyborg spoke. So that threw me off. That's just me because I watched a lot of that show. I love Criminal Minds. And uh, I couldn't hear anything. Like, I couldn't take anything that Cyborg was saying as Cyborg. I could only hear his character from the other show. Um, uh, Rosario Dawson did a great job as Wonder Woman. Um but again, because I know their because I know these people's voices so well, like it, it kind of distracted me from the from the movie. Um, but Rosario how, Dawson can't she can't have a good relationship in a movie. No, she don't have no <laughs> not in a superhero movie. <laughs> she don't have no healthy relationships in in superhero movies. None, none at all. Um, but uh, what was her name? Cat Grant, um, Lois's yeah. black friend. She was extremely <laughs> nosy. Like she was, yes. she was so nosy. <laughs> she was extremely was nosy. Like, I was like, she is all up in your business, bro. Tell her to sit down somewhere. But you know, I guess that's, <laughs> that's how friends you know, are. You know, as yeah. ladies talk, we like to talk. <laughs> yeah, they be wanting to know. So that was uh that was entertaining, but you know, she was super. But uh the, the one thing that I really didn't like was um, Lois should have died at the, in the end. Uh, she tried to sacrifice herself. Not only did she try to sacrifice herself, but the concussive blast from from that last final punch should have shattered her entire body. Like she was standing right there, and they yeah. did some some um, Neo versus uh, Mr. Smith, big huge blast concussion. Everything around them broke. But she's just standing there in the middle, like, oh, I guess everything is all right. No, she should have died from just the concussion. <laughs> but you know, it's just a superhero. It's just a cartoon movie, so it's not a, it's not a important. But um, she should have died before that. Throwing, throwing rocks at Doomsday. Died and Doomsday a whole took lot like, in this movie. Yeah, several yeah. times. Doomsday several took times. like twenty minutes to walk up on her. Like, come on, dog. Like, just, just get it done, man. Like, come on, man. Kill her, please. <laughs> Doomsday didn't have no problem killing nobody else. He was killing bears and 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 all kinds of stuff. Them Atlanteans, uh, but you know, you know, Lois is, is special. I guess she get the slow walk, um, right? <laughs> yeah. but, um, I but like like I said, overall I enjoyed it. But th those were a few things that I that I disliked. Like I said, um, also, um, oh, also I didn't like you know Superman never stays dead long enough. So by the end of the movie, he was risen, and then, uh, and then, uh, you know, they got the. Of course, they had to put the teaser in there with the other Superman coming. So you got Steel, and then you got Superboy, 
and these other people that I've never even seen before. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of excited for the next one, but you know, they could have could have left that for the trailer, I think. But that's all for well, me. None, what about you, Chuck? What none of those. None of those are Superman. Not a single one of them was the real Superman. He's still dead. Oh, you think? The last one that flew. That's yeah, Cyborg Superman. So it's four. Cyborg of them. Superman yeah. came in at the end. From space. Yeah, but that's not that's not Superman either. None of what I'm saying is neither. Daddy said that he was resurrected by the end. I was saying none none of those are Superman. You got Cyborg Superman. You got Steel. You got uh, Superboy, and you got the Eradicator. The first one that you saw. That was the Eradicator. That was um. So when you when they're in there looking at his his shuttle, and uh -huh. like this uh this thing uh he sees this hologram, the, uh, the, that's the Eradicator right there. He's like some type of sentient program. I'm talking about the one that's by his casket, and they look up, and he just flies off yeah. in space. That yeah, that's the Eradicator. How that's the Eradicator. Hey. Because that's the only one that looks completely like him. But it was oh, a shadow. Sure. I assumed it was him. I assumed it was Superman. My bad. I apologize then. <laughs> I'm still going to assume it's him until I see the next one. Exactly, yes. I can't, <laughs> I can't just go off of what Rashad is saying. Oh, it's Eradicator. You saw something? You had a flashlight up there, Rashad? Okay. You can see his I face. mean, come on, man. I mean, how crazy would it be to make a movie where Superman dies, and then all of a sudden, you see his casket, and you see it looks like he's about... Oh, wait. They did that, didn't they? They did that. <laughs> Several, uh, they did that. Do that. They, they, they did do that, that in, in a whole movie. Yes, they did that. Why did they do uh, that? Go ahead, yeah. uh, Charlie. <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I forgot. I forgot one of my likes, so I'm just going to just throw this one back in there. I did like the teamwork of the Justice League, having their little coordination meetings and things. That was kind of cool to actually see that in a movie. But that's back to the main point. The things I didn't like. Um... <laughs> I know this is not really necessary to movie, but the diversity in the movie to me was kind of like lacking. It's like it's a cartoon movie. It's okay to color some people a little bit browner. You know, they don't always have to be the same color in every part of the world. Um, like I, I didn't really understand that scene. So many people I'm like, wow, I don't see us represented even in a cartoon. We had all our people mm -hmm. in the one scene with Cyborg. But uh, so yeah, they can do a little better on that one. They can do a little better on that. Black friend. Huh? They gave Lois uh, a black friend. Lois is black friend, the nosy one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what we get. We get the nosy one. Um, to me, it kind of took a little while to get to the point of the movie. Like, I understand the character development with Clark. To me, Clark is kind of boring. Um, so I see why they don't really put him on the forefront of most of his episodes. He's not entertaining at all. He's quite dorky and doesn't seem to really know very much. So when he turns to Superman, he's like smart and you know, you know, you know, he's good, he's cool. But like the other guy, oh gosh, he's horrible. Um, <laughs> hit to me that, that Lois and his relationship and him kind of acting so dumbfounded the whole movie. Like, should I tell her? Should I tell her? I don't know. It's gonna be. I'm like, you can hear everything and supposed to be able to get places in a flash. I mean. Flash and get up around the world, what, three seconds or whatnot, they were saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, like, you should be able to take care of that. If anybody should have a problem with it, it shouldn't be you. Like, because you can just sit in space and hear her voice out of everybody else and then get to her like that. So, tell her, you can have been told her, like, in the movies. Like, and also, with the glasses thing, oh, it just irks me so much. <laughs> oh, I don't know who I am now. I took my head off. Oh my gosh, you're Superman. It's like, oh my God, this is, he's sitting in front of you, Lois, at a diner. Like, he mm -hmm. just had to take his glass off, and then she finally realized. I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, I never look got that. Me. I don't think look I ever will. Look at me, Lois. Look at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, that part just, oh, just. I just rolled my eyes at that portion of it. I'm glad the movies don't really do that anymore. It's like, okay, when she first saw him, she knew who he was. It's like, okay, please don't just tell me those glasses hit something. <laughs> but still, people don't know who Superman is on the movie, so that still mm -hmm. makes no sense anyway. But Lois, to me, I don't understand why Lois and Wonder Woman look so much alike. I'm like, does he just have mm -hmm. a thing where like, they have to be exactly almost identical drawings? 
Like one has a little <laughs> bit longer hair and a little bit more shapely with her outfit. Uh-huh. But that's about it. Like, I don't know. I, I, I could have made her look completely different. I would have enjoyed that a little better. Mm-hmm. Like made her blonde or red hair, whatever they want to. I, I know in the comments, was she she a brunette mm-hmm. in the comments? So, yeah. They, so maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's just They just look too much alike on the, as a cartoon mm-hmm. version. That was kind of aggravating to me. Maybe Lois. Maybe they're the same person. Yeah, you maybe never know. <laughs> you know, Wonder Woman was giving him this look. She could have just put on her, her disguise, you know, put her hair in a ponytail. Right, exactly. Her you ponytail disguise. Like, oh, you don't know who I am, Superman. Put that <laughs> on. Never know. And hey, <laughs> wait a second. Hey, it, it makes sense. That's why she was able to survive the hit. From uh, from Superman to Doomsday, that makes sense. It was actually go. Wonder Woman the we whole time. It we figured it out. <laughs> I guess the only problem with me was when she was getting smashed by Doomsday, <laughs> like in the in the middle of the road. Like he was just well known. Like Superman was like like it was not like Superman was in outer space or on the other side of the planet. Like he was literally like a block away at a restaurant. Like <laughs> he could have got there in, like no time and saved her, but he was just like, I gotta put my suit on. Uh, what, where was everybody at? Like, like he didn't, he, he just took his sweet time. Like everybody just leaves about to die, and you're just like eating some fish sticks with Lois, like at the at the little diner. No, eat some ribs. You know, we get some hey, ribs. Okay. One woman said they got it. He said, "I we got this. We got this." So he what was like, say? "Well, I don't I hear, remember her I hear saying, people I, screaming I and yelling and, and cars being thrown on people, but one woman said they got it." <laughs> no, no, I don't remember. I remember Batman saying, "We need backup." That's what I heard. <laughs> the last week I remember hearing Batman say, "We need backup," and Clark had his phone on vibrate, or he left it in the car so he can be with his woman. He had only reason he even got there was because Lois got a call. If Lois mm-hmm. didn't get that call, everybody be dead. He still be why, in the day. Why does Superman need? Why is that? Why does Superman need a phone? I, I don't I don't know I, I I don't know I don't know why they forget like Superman has super hearing like he can hear from space. <laughs> like, hey, 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 Superman! Do you know what? Do you know how far space is? <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, hey, Superman, we need you. We right, need you, Superman. <laughs> we we know he didn't hear that dude up in space in that uh in that uh, in the uh spaceship well, the, uh, shuttle. Yeah, yeah. Is Superman yeah. to save us. Yeah, he he's coming right now. Just no, don't you worry, guys. Oh, oh no, you get stuck down in space. Superman's coming though. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> that reminded me of the Incredibles. How uh, <laughs> your your boy thought that <laughs> that the uh, the super supers were gonna save him. No, they, they didn't show up. <laughs> Superman not up playing video games or like reading a book or something. Like just chilling, mm. contemplating how he gonna tell Lois who he is. So. I don't know. I guess some of those little points of the movie, you know, kind of just irked me. They just didn't really feel. They didn't like. They didn't. They didn't have a thought process of, around the story to me to kind of just leave all these big plot holes. It's like Superman can do all this stuff. So why is he not doing it? Why is he not mm-hmm. saving these people? Because we've seen it in other cartoons him doing that, and seeing him in other movies doing that. So kind of seeing him like just kind of nonchalantly just walking around, it's kind of I don't know. It's a little up upsetting. To see that, so, mm. but but yeah, I I really enjoyed just the fights. To be honest with you, um, seeing him die, I knew he wasn't gonna die that long. So, I mean, he wasn't gonna stay dead that long. I, I figured he would show up at the end of the movie, healed up somehow. Oh yeah, real quick. So does this Superman? He doesn't heal by the sun, right? So that's just the movie Superman. Is that right? All Superman should heal by the sun. Okay, so I I was just wondering, it was like. They would just put him in the sun, or he was fighting him in the daytime. You know, would he have mm. had any no, injuries? No, remember, they need a mother box and flash. Flash is kinetic energy and a liquid suit to restart his heart. Apparently, oh. Oh, they okay. need that now. They need that. That's how, okay. how you do it. Just throw him in the sun, just let him heal like Captain Planet or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the core. All right, but that was that's that's that's, that's some of my dislikes. It's a more it, I some of dislikes. That's some of my dislikes. I just I just didn't care that's for it that much. Teen Titan, the Teen Titans movies were a lot better than me. Uh, and Flashpoint uh, was epic, so it wasn't that great of a cartoon 
or animated movie to me to to make uh -huh. it worthwhile. Like I will forget this one. All the rest of them when they had the Justice League fighting, I like better than this movie. So, Flashpoint is still the it's still the best. Yeah, Flashpoint yes, is good. But that Teen Titans versus Justice League is really nice too. That one's good. They got a lot of good character development in that one. But uh okay. on to you, Rashad. Thank you. I forgot what I was, what I was gonna say now. <laughs> uh, about seven minutes seven minutes ago. <laughs> um, hey, I, didn't leave, I didn't give I you any likes. Like... Huh? So I gave you, you no give likes. Like... So this is this is my time. <laughs> Um, so my number one thing, I didn't like Lex Luthor's voice. Like I thought I'm I'm just used to the cartoon voice, the other cartoon voice. Like he's more calm and more relaxed. Like Lex Luthor, like nothing bothers him. Like he was his voice was just kind of nasally. And it seemed like it was like they were trying to find that combination of the movie Superman, which is horrible, absolutely horrible, and and the other cartoon Superman. But it was funny when I found out who actually did his character. It's actually Rain Wilson who actually did the, the voice for Lex Luthor. And if anybody knows The Office, you know that Rain uh, Rain Wilson is Dwight. <laughs> Jim, assistant, Dwight Spoot, assistant to the manager. <laughs> what is it? There's assistant manager, assistant to the manager. Like, that's hilarious <laughs> to me. Like, that just makes me laugh. <laughs> but even when he was whining, like, I'm Lex Luthor. I was supposed to win. Like, Come on, man! Like, is that is that how Lex would do it? But if Dwight Smoot, Dr Dwight Swoot, whatever Shroot, Dwight Shroot is playing Lex Luthor, that's how he would do it. Uh, Doomsday. So I'm actually the opposite of you guys. I think you guys like the fact that Doomsday didn't have any type of backstory at all. I didn't. I wanted him to be to know something about him. Like to me, he was just he was just a plot device. He was just something that showed up. The Superman couldn't defeat like i wasn't emotionally invested in, in in that guy like whatsoever like i wanted something to help me to i mean to see the villain it was like it was all about the superheroes and the regular humans and he was just there you know i thought that was very unusual generally in a superhero movie you'll find out something about the villain you know but there was nothing and i know that doomsday has a backstory it's actually so for those who don't know doom story doomsday's backstory is pretty horrible. It's horrible. Basically, he was a baby born on Krypton year, millions of years before um, Superman's people were there. And the scientists took the baby outside in the wilderness and let him die. He brought the baby back inside, cloned him, took the baby outside, let him die. Brought the baby mm -hmm. back inside, cloned him, and just kept doing this over and over again until the baby started developing the ability to be immune to whatever killed him that first time. So they kept doing it until he kept becoming more and more and more immune to everything that would eventually kill him. Like that's a horrible, that's a horrible backstory to keep dying over say, multiple times. Let me let me say something. I'm 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 not mad that they didn't put that in the movie. Uh, <laughs> that sounds horrible, bro. Like they even they made a comic book. I don't think I can read a comic book looking like that. It's killing the baby. Yeah. And killing the baby. That's he's horrible. a genetic slave. That's uh, horrible. I mean, to create I mean it, it, make, it makes sense why he would want to smash a car upside somebody's head. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I did. Lastly, I didn't like the relationship between Lois Lane and Clark Kent. I'm not used to seeing that, and to me, that opens up a lot of pr plot problems. I mean, because if she, if all he has to do is like, Lois, look at me, okay? So I, he takes his glasses off, and you can look at him in the eyes and see that he's Clark Kent. They seem to be pretty passionate. You know what I mean? So are you telling me all the time he's like, Clark, take these glasses off? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> he put so, a hoodie on. Remember, because Kat right. was asking about that. She was she was trying to get to that question. She was trying to say, you know, how is he? You know, mm. and she kept dodging a question. And she also, uh, um, what's her name? Lois kept expressing frustration. She was like, I don't know anything about you. Like, I don't know anything about you except, you know, the work that we do together. So, yeah, you're seemed right. Like she, knew, she, seemed like she knew a couple of things. Listen <laughs> <laughs> in that closet. <laughs> See, she wasn't calling. She wasn't calling Superman the Man of Steel. She was calling Clark Kent the Man of Steel. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, but here's 
here's the, the problem that that opens up, okay? So if they have a relationship, unlike Clark Kent in any other instance, um, she's close to him. She's touching his muscles. She's looking at him in his eyes. She's really like, you never see that. So it's easy for her to love Superman and not think that Clark Kent is him because she's not, she's not touching him to see, dang, this dude is diesel. Like he's really thick, but it's like, she's in the arms of Superman and now she's in the arms of Clark Kent. It just doesn't make sense that she just would not know at all that this is the exact same person. You know, so that's all I got. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, Danny, should people see this movie? Absolutely. Um, I'm looking at the cast list, and I see Rebecca Romaine uh, yep. played somebody. The, um, Mystique? Yeah, <laughs> Mystique played somebody. I can't imagine who it was. She was Lois Lane. Oh, that, was she? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. See, the, I'm, the cast list is just it's star-studded. This is good stuff. But, um, yeah, I say watch it. Um, If you don't if you hate Superman like me, uh, you will at least enjoy watching him die, and, <laughs> and uh, you get you get a piece of Batman, you get a good a good Green Lantern, you get uh, a good Wonder Woman, and Flash uh, is awesome. I like Flash. You get the good funny Flash. Yes, uh, it was it was a I think it was a, re- a well rounded film, and it does set up for the sequel. I'm I'm more excited for the sequel because I I think it's something that I've never seen before. Um, when it comes to Superman, even though, you know, mm-hmm. you know, I'm tired of Superman stuff, but it's something that I don't think I've seen before. So I'm kind of excited for it. So, yeah, check it out. Okay. Oh, and also you got to do your thing. Oh, but that's it for me, y'all. You know how it is. Uh, Lumberjacks is coming out on the 15th. So make sure you go pre-order that. We'll put the link in the description. It's a great comic book. Um, but until next time. Stay vigilant, my friends. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> you got some new stuff. New and improved stuff. Got okay. New hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, brand new hands. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Charlie, and give your closing spiel too, man. Should people see this movie? Um, yeah, you ain't gotta go pay no movie ticket for it. So yeah, go ahead and watch it. I I would say if you haven't watched any of the animated movies, I would just watch it with those. So like it's kind of like part of the all the movies so there's only like what like an hour about an hour and a half of that so yeah watch the other ones and then just watch that one part of it like make sure you throw the teen titans in there too because that one was really good um mm-hmm. so so but yeah definitely check it out uh have some good moments um and you know it ain't gonna cost you anything you gotta go pay 13 dollars to watch an imax so you know go ahead and <laughs> take a look at it <laughs> but uh yeah that's all for us with kfh party easy i forgot that the first time, I appreciate that, uh, Mr. Danny Quick. I was so <laughs> upset with, with Lois and how she wants to die so much in this movie, uh, but they didn't allow her to. But uh, so, until so next time, with guys, Lois. So upset with Lois and customers? <laughs> <laughs> I said customers? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yes. Yes, that, you know, it's, it's a work work day. It's a work day. I'm on here. So, you know. <laughs> Still All right, guys. Um, I would say this is not a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. However, it is completely passable. Like, my, I don't feel like my life was affected in, in any positive way by watching this movie. This is not something I'm going to think about later. Like, like you're hearing the guys talk about Flashpoint. Like, yes, that was an amazing movie. Uh, and some of the other, the Injustice um like the the whole watching the the whole thing about in, in uh Superman and not uh, Superman DC Justice like ah it's awesome this is just something that happened so it's completely passable I would say skip it again it's not bad I think if you watch it you won't feel upset you just it's just Manila it's not even vanilla it's Manila <laughs> all right. So that's our show, guys. Make sure you take a look at the description so you can see other shows like this one. Perhaps they're even better than this one, or perhaps they're the same. Either way, I think that you will be thoroughly uh, impressed because we've got Mission Impossible and Equalizer and everything that Marvel has done in 2018 and many other things for you to watch. Also, make sure to leave a comment. Don't just look at us. We want you to be involved. We want to hear what you have to say. So leave your comments. Type your stuff, and let's hear what you have to say. Again, this has been Color Commentary. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, 
Uh, the part Batman is throwing me off over there. Probably when the video gets edited, y'all won't see this, but Batman is doing his thing. Danny is doing more with Batman than Batman did this entire movie. <laughs> 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 but of course, as Batman would tell you, you gotta subscribe to survive. And of course, this is color commentary where we give you views from a different side. Peace. And it's gotta be Sentimental's Project That is kind of what, uh, that is kind of what, uh That is kind of, uh, kind of what Batman was saying He said, uh, Gotham City needs me I gotta make sure I don't die I gotta make sure I don't die Cause Gotham City <laughs> We need back up Superman, where you at? And it's gotta be Sentimental's Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to hide